We made an error. Maybe we should have tried to defeat Cao Cao back then. His fleet of ships. If they are not bluffing, then they have an exceptionally large force. Lord Zhou Yu's decision was not incorrect, I believe. I think it is possible we may win. Zhuge Liang, tell us your plan. For Wu and for Master Liu Bei, one thing can give them each their victory. Just one. Each victorious? Each? Then let us go. Let this great river burst forth with the waves of our wisdom. <sighs> this is such a terrible bother. Someone's going to seize the Mandate of Heaven. This chaos must come to an end soon. And yet, Cao Cao, a man capable of bringing Yuan Shao to his knees. Surely he can see that the Imperial Han has no future left at all. Master Xi, watch what you say. Show respect. Hmm. I am not here with you by my own will. Ignoring such small complaints would be courteous. <sighs> what a terrible bother this has turned out to be. Do I owe you my thanks again? You convinced my brother it's time to fight. Ah, Lady Shang Zhang. I have not seen you since Wu. I have heard what happened to Master Tse. You have my condolences. I will fight with Wu against Cao Cao. I have a dream and I must further it. I believe it was Master Quan who decided we must all share the same purpose for the moment. You have dreams. You want to find a meaning in life. You know, in a strange kind of way, you remind me of Brother Tse. Remind you? Don't worry about it. strength of an army is forged in flames of its training. Battles are not won on numbers alone. It's the individual that decides a battle. So you are saying that you have gathered such men? Hmm. I recruited you here because I see that same ability. Your beauty and grace should be sung to the heavens. Show the world your deadly beauty. You are most perceptive, my benevolent lord. And now, oh, I must blossom brighter than ever before. I will serve you, my lord. And I will shower your road to conquest with my beauty. Whoa, what? I have all the officers I need. Now for the strategies. My lord, we are now at the start. We have allied with Wu and stand opposed to Cao Cao. From this point on, I shall make use of all my skills so that we may remove all uncertainty from your dream and make it reality. Yes, I will depend on you. We can have no success without your helping us. Then the time has come. You must begin to head to the west. West? My lord will not find his victory, that she be. I have already sent Master Zhang Fei and Master Zhao Yun to grasp the victory that awaits my lord in the west. An excellent plan. Then I will travel west. I shall take my leave. My lord, do not ever let yourself forget your true purpose. responsibility, isn't it? Oh? 
So you thought that being my personal bodyguard was going to be nothing more than an easy job? Oh, no, that isn't the case at all, my lord. I know that you have always placed my safety first whenever you go into battle. Consider this. Defeat the enemy in battle before they reach me. By doing that, you are still protecting me. That is why I am giving you this order. Dianwe, from now on you will learn how to command men. It is almost time. We approach the final battle. Concerning Wu and Liu Bei, their armies are much too small to concern me. We must be wary, however, of their cunning. Oh my! Could those be the words of the man who controls this majestic fleet? Or are you someone else? Pride can lead one astray, Zhang He. The ships don't go to battle. It is the ones who are in command. It all depends on their skill. Even the beauty that you seek requires men to color the scene as if they were background in your painting. Is it not? You are right. But of course. Ah! In battle I am a paragon of beauty like no other! Watch and bear witness! My grace and beauty shall be engraved in the memories of all who oppose us! Something about this fight is troubling. What, I can't say. I can only wait and see. I guess I'll go attack them all at their boats. Less experienced soldiers should stay and protect the rear. Hey, give it a break. We have no time to indulge your pathetic dreams of grandeur. This guy here really kills me. He just joined us, and he thinks he's the boss. Huh. You worried about my skill? I've never lost a fight, and I've started a lot, you know. Hey, you want to commit suicide, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Stunning. Go and show everyone what you're capable of doing. We have several men who are waiting down by the river for you. Good luck in the fight. Yeah, just leave it all to me. Hey you, put that over there. Think you can take Zhao Zhao out with that little rock? Whenever I hear those bells, it infuriates me. Throwing individual stones accomplishes nothing. However, if you collect many and use them together, then that ship is sinkable. Like it or not, Gan Ming is one of us now. Put aside the past. Well, I'll work with him for now. Ah, Zhang Liao. Come take a seat. I have been watching you. Your skills are great. Forgive me for my presumption. May I inquire, what do they mean to you, your conquests? As with Dong Zhuo and Lu Bu, they are a means to extend my influence and power. The difference is that they only sought personal gain, their own selfish desires. I seek a principle that can govern the land. I will bring an end to chaos. Your philosophy is fascinating. Beyond personal gain, perhaps what I'm looking for. I need a way to make my skill at fighting mean more. Tell me, will the destiny of your future be aligned with mine, Master Zhang Liao? 
I have found my true path. I swear it. I'll fight to the end for your vision, my lord. I felt that we would meet again. But not under such circumstances. Yes. I felt the same. Our marriage was my father's decision, but I could not say it was entirely against my will. In this battle, I will watch over Shu. No. I will watch over you yourself. I would be honored. Now then, can you feel it? The wind from the southeast? Hmm. Yes, I can. Master Xu Huang, lovely breeze. Master Zhang Liao, I must say, you appear to be in good spirits today. Indeed. May I ask you something? What is a warrior's path? That's such a sudden question. Hmm. I would say, the path of the warrior is not an individual. For as a warrior, he is only one portion of the greater purpose. He must conquer his ego. He must have strength. His duty is to guide events towards the stated goal. Thank you, my friend. You're right. You have taught me a great deal. No thanks needed. I'm sure that you have thought of all this before. Now let us be on our way. We must travel along life's path. The moon is quite beautiful. Yes. A stark contrast to the chaos. I hope that this moon is able to illuminate the path that you would walk. I must ask you something. What is it that you seek? That which hinders my lord. Destiny. Hate. Pride and sacrifice. If I bear those burdens in his place, then he will be the light that guides this world. That is my sole purpose, that my burden will be the world's peace. That burden, will you allow me to carry half of it? Think that just having a lot of boats is going to save you? Take this! Stand a chance fighting against Wu, especially on the water. Well done, Sima Yi. 
I see that your abilities extend even onto the fields of battle. I'm very impressed by that. Had it been possible, I would have preferred to do my planning from the rear looking at maps. Instead, I used another approach. Since some think with their swords, not their heads. Hmm. Even they have their uses. That was not the reason that this victory was bought at such a cost. Our opponents fought well. Too well. You were very close to the battle. Did you not find that to be the case? Too well? Indeed. Yes, I can only conclude that whoever planned this has exceptional talent. So tell me, do you still find this chaotic world of ours to be dull? The one behind Liu Bei. The great Zhuge Liang. What other tricks do you have in store? Hey, you there. I know you've been doing well, but that doesn't mean you can just, like, walk around and... You fought like a vicious tiger out there! With fighting like that, you're sure to win! Don't worry, we'll be right there helping you out every time. <laughs> well, all right. We'll do it together. You men just follow me. You are right. In battle, a man must follow the commands that he is given. And yet, look there, Ling Tong. They are all ready to go. He's inspiring everyone. It's as it was before Lord Sun Tse died. Should we not see this and learn from it? I wonder if we should let him be for a while. How did it go, Lord Dian Wei? Well, I've never commanded men before, you see, and it's turning out to be kind of a lonely task. They talk behind your back. I can feel them all staring at me. And after all this, we still weren't able to take down Liu Bei and Sun Quan. Alas, capturing Chi Bi would be a glorious ending to this chaos. How sad that it cannot be. Nonetheless, I gaze at your stalwart face, and it makes me feel that all may not be lost forever. Yes, I am taking this vow. I know how I'll spend the rest of my life. I swear that the final victory will belong to us! My lord, Liu Bei's forces have attacked and taken Cao Cao's position throughout Jing province. What's that? Zhuge Liang, is this what you meant by giving each their victory? This is our victory. Liu Bei has a land from which we can grow. Until we conquer Yi in the West. To stay in Jing is the only thing possible. I understand what you mean. I suppose you deserve some credit for this plan. I will let you go in peace. Of course, with Cao Cao gone, there isn't really anyone else. Yes. There is no one left to fight except each other. Until we meet again. Goodbye, Zhou Yu. Yes. There is only one that I must fight. You, Master Zhuge Liang. Just you. Lord Cao Cao! Liu Bei and Sun Quan still live. Until they are both destroyed, chaos still rules. Maybe so, but you are still one step closer to gaining total control, my lord. Total control? Shoot you. What if you controlled the land? All of it. Hmm. I envision a world filled with possibilities for future generations. There is no reason that the one who wears the mantle of Conqueror must also be the one to control the land. 
Then those wave punks jumped into the water just to get away from us. Amazing! Wow! What a story! Huh. So the flames of Chi-B still linger today, even in this rain. What do you mean? The soldiers around that man, they are full of passion and vigor. Indeed. Much like when I was at Sun Tse's side. Are you comparing Sun Tse to Gan Ning? Surely Lord Sun Tse is rolling over in his grave. No. I think he would agree. We have two sturdy pillars on which to build Wu's foundation. The next battle, I will leave to you two. I don't really like working with Gan Ni, but I have no choice. I want a joining between you and Liu Bei. It will benefit the future of Wu. Yes, I understand. However, I am not doing this just because you said to. I'll do it by my own will. I want to see more of the world, that's why. I will fight with Wu against Cao Cao. I have a dream and I must further it. Him, no matter what, you must show me that I have not been mistaken, my Lord Liu Bei. <laughs> 